To all the geeks and nerds out there, welcome back to another episode of Beyond Logic. And this is the goal for today, is to finish up our, our Star Destroyer that we started last episode. Looking pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to getting this done. So that is the, the main goal for this episode. But uh, before we uh, crack on with that, uh, let's. Uh, I've made one other change since last episode where we started this off, and that is with the Iron Farm. So if you remember from last time, um, I reported that uh, I was hearing some, uh, some damage from the villagers. Uh, you can hear them when they take some damage. So we re replaced the workstations on either side with these uh, composters because they're transparent. Um, so since then, I've also added a composter at the back instead of a solid block, and also the block above it was solid, so replace that with these blocks. So they can't take any suffocation damage from those blocks. But uh, I did get some comments from people that said that uh, the villager in the front, the front bed, um, sometimes they get pushed around, and he can end up in the water and take drowning damage. So that's something we need to work, work, need to think about. So we might do something about that, but uh, we'll see. And yeah, the other thing I think people mentioned was that sometimes golems can spawn in this area, and that is because golems can spawn on these trap doors. So uh, I've already I already thought of that last last time. I didn't I didn't mention it, but uh, there's some redstone dust on top of the uh, those trap doors, so uh, no golems can spawn there. So we're good on that front. But uh, yeah, we we might get some uh, some drowning damage. So we'll just monitor that situation, see see how we get on. And uh, yeah, if we if we uh, have an issue there, then we'll see if we can do something about it. But for the time being, I think we're okay. Now, obviously, this episode we're going to be finish up, finish, finishing up the ship, so uh, we need to do lots of block placing, and uh, yeah, that's something we're going to do in a sec. But uh, there's a, a couple of other jobs I'd like to do. So one other thing I'd like to do, um, which we'll do at some point, if, if we get time of course, that is down here, uh, where we've got our killing chamber, or well, say chamber, or killing platform. So at the moment we've got this chest down here, so underneath the, the, that platform we have some hopper minecarts that pick up all of the drops and they end up down here. Although we've got some iron, <laughs> look at that, awesome. So uh, we're getting iron in here, but what I think I want to do is uh, get rid of these other items. So we're just going to delete those, get those into the void. So we need to have some iron filters here to do that. And the iron, I think I want to put them into shulker boxes and uh, drop them, if you can see that. That is the water stream that comes from the Millennium Falcon. So when we get items from the overworld, they come through there and then they end up going into the Death Star up there. So uh, it'd be really cool if we could drop the shulker boxes out of here and into that water stream somehow. That would be pretty cool. And then we can have uh, have some uh, some uh, some silos in our storage system for iron coming out of here. Now I'm not expecting too much iron out of this thing, but uh, that would still be good to get that all wired up. So yeah, hopefully we can get that done as well. But the first priority is to uh, make some progress on the Star Destroyer. So uh, yeah, let me get the blocks and yeah, make a start. That was a lot of block placing and I think I need a break. <laughs> I need to I need to have a rest from doing this block placing and do another type of block placing, I guess. But uh, yeah, we've uh, done quite a lot. So we've got this kind of top bit now. Um, so this is looking pretty good and we've still got a massive hole here, but uh, the hole is getting smaller. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we've got the bridge to do up here and the shield generators above, things like that, but that is going well. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do, do something different. But before we do that, I think I wanna turn this farm on. It's been off for a while so let's um let's do this and make sure it's still 
working all right. So hopefully we'll get some golems spawning. If we go over here, fingers crossed. There we go. Yes, two golems. Awesome. All right. So that is good stuff. So the next thing to do is to go down there and uh, and work on the uh, collection area for the items, I think. Uh, but before we do that, let's have a look at how much progress we've actually made. So if I pull up my materials list from Lightmatica, right at the very bottom, it says progress done 80, 80%, 80.3% 80 done. So less than 20% to go. That is pretty good. Pretty good going. All right. So I feel, feel good about that. And as I, obviously, if, you, if I scroll down this list, you see we're getting some getting some green numbers now that zeros missing so that is good stuff all right very good very good so the next job then is down here um, obviously we're going to have our killing area so we've got a few columns down there got four four columns still there from before so if i just land here there they go. <laughs> These golems are going to make light work of the Azenderman. But um, yeah, so the next thing to do is to work on the collection area underneath. So I want to get a shocker box loader and all that kind of stuff. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hop into a test world and uh, work out how I'm going to do the redstone and then we can get it in place. After a few hours in my test world, this is what I've come up with. So <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, let me give you a quick demo of it and then I'll explain it uh, before we actually build it up in our world. Um, yeah, so uh, it should be hopefully OK. So this uh, this uh, cobblestone right here, this is where the golems are going to be standing and this is where they have a fight with the Enderman and beat them up. And of course, all the drops end up on top here. And then underneath we have this hopper minecart, which is what we currently have already. So uh, let's, let's give it a try if I uh, throw down some iron and some ender pearls and some poppies oh <laughs> my can't stop of course so let's pop that in there and that in there as well okay so a whole bunch of stuff goes in there and then what we should see is that the iron should make its way into the shulker box yes that is good very good and anything else should end up in this dropper right here and then it will get spat out into this fire now originally i was going to just uh, fire it up into the void and it just gets deleted but because we want to break this shulker box and have it fall down oh there it go there's all the other items getting deleted because we don't need those yep awesome yeah so uh, yeah i didn't want to put it in the void because uh, this what this uh, shulker box we're going to break it and there's nothing underneath so it's going to fall down and we want to catch that into the water stream and i didn't want to get any kind of uh, any of these items getting there uh, confused with that kind of stuff so that is all good so we should only have iron in here yeah very good all right so let's fill this up all the way pretty much uh, until the end so only do that again there we go if I can do that, there we go. So only half a stack to go in that shulker box. So let's do that. Now, if we go to this mine cart and get another half a stack of iron, right, let's take these out so it's nice and quick. And then we should see, hopefully, there you go, it's filling up. All right, let's see what happens when it gets filled up. It should break the shulker box and the shulker box should fall down and, and land obviously here, but uh, we'll catch that. In there it goes, that one falls down. There is the, the uh, shulker box full of iron and there is a new one ready for uh, the next batch. All right, so that is good stuff. So how does this work? Well, we've got this, uh, this uh, let's go through it really quickly. So on this side over here, this is what uh, what locks the minecart in place. So it keeps going backwards and forwards underneath, but once, it got, once it's got some items, uh, that's read by this comparator. So once some items start flowing through this hopper, that picks it up, goes into this block, into this torch, which then powers this block, which powers this redstone, which powers this block. So uh, that's what uh, that powers and depowers that that rail. Then the items come down into this chest. Now, when I was playing around with this, I did have a hopper underneath here first, but uh, with a hopper, it's too quick. The items go through too quick, and the comparator can't pick it up. So we have to. So I have this chest in the, like an intermediate uh, to to make that happen. And then just here, this kind of slice. This is the uh, the standard the standard item sorter just here. It's the the impulse SV one. So that goes there. So that's for that's for our iron. So that's all straightforward. So anything that's not iron goes along this way, ends up into this dropper. And then around here, we've got this comparator that once it gets to uh, a couple of, once it gets to power level two, then it will power this piston, which puts this uh, puts this uh, observer up to here. We get to an observer clock, which spits all the items out. So I've done it that way because if you just do it uh, just on a single power, it will just, this piston goes backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards just for each each and every item because it because they, that clock is faster than hopper speed. So that's why we do that. And then this bit over here, this uh, from here, this slice over to here, this is the, just a shocker box loader. This is the same one that I built when we did our, our squid farm. So that is pretty straightforward. So yeah, that is uh, that is it. That is what we're going to build underneath uh, underneath the iron pearl, uh, the, the the arena, I guess. So um, obviously we need to make we need to try and hide it as best we can. So we're going to have to try and get some cobble down and some stone and kind of bring it down and kind of hide this stuff. But uh, should be all right, I think. 
<laughs> so, uh, but building it in the void in survival is a whole nother kettle of fish. So, uh, yeah, let me, uh, let's hop back over there, get some items and yeah, start building it. We're back and we're underneath the Iron Pearl. There it is right there. And uh, yeah, there is some shenanigans going on because Endermen keep dropping down here and uh, they end up being aggro. So I think uh, there's some different fighting going on up there, but uh, we'll check that out in a minute. But what I've done here is this is the water stream. So the Falcon is over that way and uh, the water stream goes this way and then around there and then up into uh, into the Death Star. So I've just made a little bit of a hole here. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do is we're actually gonna have a glass tube that goes up from here all the way up to the drop-off point here. So uh, it keeps this nice and small. So uh, we're gonna get some water in here. And if we break that, this gives us a water stream. So any items that fall into here, so the shulker boxes that fall into here will go this way into the water stream. So now we just, just gotta build this back up again. And I think I've got some glass here. Yeah, so I'm all prepared as you can see. So this is gonna be um, our tube that goes all the way up. So I just gotta build this all the way up to the top. And then this will give us a platform we can then start building on to build the unloader underneath. Oh, someone's angry. Jeez, <laughs> I need to get out of here. Look at this guy. <laughs> Luckily, he's not aggro at me. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> we, have, we have quite a few golems. <laughs> oh man, I think I'm after to turn this farm off. Uh, what? <laughs> As soon as, as soon as Endermen spawn, they all go after it. Oh, man. Uh, okay, yeah, the Endermen don't seem to be fighting back as hard as uh, I thought they would, or at least as hard as they, they used to. All right, we might have to do something about this. Um, good. All right, <laughs> well, I'm going to continue with the with building up uh, underneath there. I've towered all the way up, so uh, we've got a platform underneath. But yeah, just wanted to show you this. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, we are pretty much there. Just got a last couple of bits to do. So we've just got to put this new uh, rail and hop it on top of that. So that's all good. The unload mechanism was already here from before, so I haven't had to change any of that. So that's what, that was good. So now we need to come down here and we've got to sort out this item filter. So we've got a bunch of stuff in here. So let's grab all of this and get rid of that. And yeah, we're gonna put our filter items in and then some iron. Okay, that should go down in there. And let's just check the rest of these hoppers, make sure they're all empty. So that is all good. So the next thing is, I think we need to add the shulker boxes. Uh, you can see all the scaffold in here. <laughs> Got to add the shulker boxes to the dispenser. So I have to go around here, I guess, and just put all these in here. And we need to load the first one up. So there's a button just here. Okay, that's a good sign. <laughs> that's the first time I've tested that. So, all right, that is good. And hopefully, why are they not going in there? Okay, there we go. The shocker box is now filling up. Yeah, that was because this hopper was locked because of the torch, uh, because the, uh, oh, yeah, that's, got, that's working as well. There we go. Iron, what are you doing in there? Uh-oh, <laughs> that doesn't look good. Okay, I think we're actually there now. So all the iron is in there. And I can put that glass back. And if you hop back up here, no items came out of there. So that's all empty. Okay, good stuff. All right, so yeah, that was because I put the items in here and they just flowed across that way. All right, so I think this is all set up and working. So uh, we do need to do a bit of decoration. I need to get rid of all the scaffolding. And I think I'm gonna bring some of this uh, cobblestone down to kind of hide, hide some of this stuff. But this should, in theory, be working. But as you can hear, we have we have all of those uh, all of those golems that uh, are not being killed. <laughs> the the, uh, the Endermen are not powerful enough uh, to deal with all the golems. So the golems come down and uh, yeah, they uh, they just uh, yeah they end up killing all the all of the uh, all of the all of the Endermen and they can't keep up. So I'm thinking we need to give the uh, begin to give the <laughs> the Endermen uh, a helping hand. And for that, we are going to try some Wither Roses, I think. So what we could do is. We could place down some some soul sand here and there, just around the place. Not 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 cover the whole thing, just here and there. So as these golems walk around, they'll take damage, and we'll plant some wither roses on top of them. So hopefully that will help out the Enderman and uh, get these numbers down a bit. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's start doing this now. Of course, I need to be careful not to touch the end, not to touch the golems, because if I do, uh, they will aggro to me and kill me pretty quickly. So yeah, I need to be careful. And this is the view from the trench. I've done about half of it so far, but uh, yeah, you can see the Endermen come in and yeah, they're taken care of pretty quickly. So you're yeah, having these Wither Roses are good. So this is good now. So uh, hopefully there's enough space in between for the Endermen to sort of you know spawn in and walk around and stuff like that. And hopefully not take too much damage. There you go. Here we go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> All right, hopefully that will solve the problem. So uh, yeah, so I wanted to get them to move over. So now I've got a bit of space over here. So I've got to do that. All right, yes, very good, very good. All right, we're pretty much there now, I think. Just the last few to get killed off. All right, yeah, this is working pretty well. So I think we got a reasonable reasonable spread of the Wither Roses, so not, not too packed together, just enough to kind of just soften up the, the Golems and give the uh, give the Enderman a chance. All right, good wait for this last guy to go. 
Oh, he survived. <laughs> he won't. He won't survive for much longer, I imagine. Oh, here he goes. What did I back on? Oh dear. Oh, there he is. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Awesome. This is really cool. Really cool stuff. All right. Out. As you can see, I've been taking a bit of damage as I've been doing this, but there we go. So hopefully now, oh, there's the golem. He's come down. Right. Who's going to win quickly? Go around here. He's having a fight with this, this, this enderman and they'll get more that spawn in. Uh, he's gone. There we go. More spawned in. Go, go, go. Let's have a fight. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> There we go, this is good. Yeah, so that those 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 wither roses are definitely softening him up. This guy, I don't think he stands a chance. And there he goes, he's dead. <laughs> Alright, that is good stuff. Alright, so hopefully we won't have a massive build-up of, of golems now. So yeah, we need to clear up our scaffolding. And I think the next thing to do is to work on a good AFK spot so we can have a good view of uh, of the arena. And uh, yeah, not, not run the risk of uh, looking at Enderman because that would be bad news as well. So yeah, we'll do that next. That'll be pretty cool. All right, and then we can get up here and do some more work on the ship. And we are cooking on gas at the moment. Got a few more jobs done. So let's head on over. And I always like flying, flying past these ships. <laughs> so yeah, underneath the iron pearl, I've covered all of the redstone up. So just brought down the brought down the blocks there so it's all hidden. And I've added a little glass platform. As you can see here, hopefully we can land on it. Oh, no, we can't. <laughs> flying skills again. I am the pro flyer. Oh yeah, they're, they're still fighting up there. That's good. That's good. Right, so let's land in here. Good stuff. There we go. So yeah, just covered up that with uh, various blocks. Now uh, in here, I actually need to uh, grab some iron. So let's see how far how we're doing on the iron front. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. No, I actually need 18 iron, but we'll take that for now. Right, so what we need to do now is we need to go and configure our storage system, which we haven't done yet. And also I've added an extra an extra uh, asteroid here with a, a glass bottom so we can stand here and watch the action. <laughs> so we're we're far enough away for Enderman to spawn. We're about 30 blocks away, so uh, that's all good. And we can just stand here and uh, yeah, see what happens. So as, as you can see, as they uh, aggro towards the Enderman, they, they walk over the the, uh, uh, the the Wither Roses and then they take damage and of course, and eventually they will die. But yeah, that is cool stuff. All right, let's get into the storage system and let's do some configuration. So this is our storage room right here. And on this side, this is where we have our shulker box sorter. So this uh, shulker boxes come in here and they get sorted and they go into the right slice. So you can see here from these comparators, we've got uh, a few setups. So this one, that's string and this one is empty. Right, so let's go into here and let's add our filter that we've already got prepared and we need 18 iron ingots they go in there okay so uh, that's good so now all the chocolate boxes will come in they'll get sorted because what what this does is it takes out one item compares it to all of these uh, comparators here these uh, these hoppers and then when it finds a match that's the slice that the uh, chocolate box goes in so now underneath next to the string we can now add an iron ingot okay so the iron chocolate boxes will appear in here eventually so uh, Nothing there at the moment, but hopefully in due course, we'll get one in there and that will be pretty cool. Pretty cool to have iron coming in here automatically. Obviously, we've got loads still over by the Iron Man, uh, but yeah, that's a, that's a nice addition. All right. So I think the next thing I think is to work on the ship. I think we're back. I think we need to uh, do some more placing of blocks. So let's go back over there and let's get the grind done and get this ship finished.
And with that, the Star Destroyer is complete. But I guess you want to take a look, right? Well, we'll take a look in a minute. I've got a couple of things to show first. So first of all, down here, uh, you may have noticed in a time lapse that we had an Iron Golem spawn up here. And that is because on this block right here, we used to have a sea lantern with a sea lantern with a carpet. And it turns out that Iron Golems can spawn on that exact block. So I took it out, put a button instead. That's fixed that problem. Also done it on the other side as well. So uh, yeah, I, and I worked that out because I watched the replay mod af afterwards and just looked at when he actually spawned in and saw exactly where he spawned. So got that all fixed. So no, no Iron Golems can spawn up here as, uh, at all. And uh, everything's all lit up. So hopefully we shouldn't be getting any Endermen up here. Uh, that's That should all be solved. But uh, one thing before we take a look at the ship uh, properly, I want to get hold of our map and update it and see what effect it has. Now, now this is going to be interesting because uh, the background to the end on a map is grey and obviously that ship is grey and so we may not see very much. I'll be interested to see uh, actually what happens. So we need to work on a proper map room at some point. So many jobs to do. But uh, if we hop down here and we've got our map. I think it's under here is it? Yeah there it is. Here is our map of uh, <laughs> of the end, looking pretty cool. Obviously, we're filling this up as we go, slow, slowly but surely. So I think, so obviously, the Star Destroyer is over here. So let's grab that map and that one as well. Okay, just getting these maps together. Hopefully, I can pick up the right ones. Uh, that's not the right one there. Let's swap these out. There we go. There are the two maps. All right, so you can you can see the shape for sure, and uh, obviously it's hidden the height, the iron pearl as well. So all right, let's go and pull that back in the map room and see uh, see how it looks. All right, so let's get these things on the map and see how they look. So that one goes there, and this one goes there. All right, that looks pretty grey. <laughs> Yeah, so you can't, I guess from a distance, it kind of blends in a bit. So that's a little bit disappointing, I suppose, but it still looks pretty cool. You can see the lines of it, you can see the shape. And yeah, this uh, this map is filling out. We are getting there. We're definitely, uh, I've definitely got another ship I'm planning, um, hopefully over in this area. But uh, we'll see what that is. So if you've got your guesses, then get them in the comments. But there is another ship coming. It's going to be somewhere there, which is going to be cool. But yeah, that is looking pretty cool. All right, very good. Right, so I guess it's time to uh, take a look at the ship properly, shall we? So let's head on outside and take a look at this Imperial 2 class Star Destroyer, this capital ship that uh, brings dread to the galaxy.
So there it is, the Star Destroyer. It's all done. And yeah, I hope <laughs> I hope, that, I hope you like that little cinematic I put together. But uh, let's have a little fly around to just take a look at this thing. Oh, brilliant. I love I love oh, the shape of it is really good. I'm really glad how the sheep how the shape came out. That kind of profile all kind of matches, looks good. And uh, the back as well, there's loads of detail in the back and I'm really pleased with how that how that turned out if I can look like this. There we go. Look at the back of that. Look at those engines. Oh, brilliant. Really good. Really good stuff. So there's a whole bunch of detail. Like if I land in here, if I land, maybe we'll be able to see it. Maybe we're too close. But there you go. You get to see the, the kind of grandeur, all the kind of all the detail. The yeah, they've got we've even got buttons underneath here. Really try to go to town on the detail using some walls and stairs and stuff, trying to get that that uh, that cylindrical shape, you know, the round shape of the engines looking really cool. And of course we've got the underneath, which we've we've uh, seen a few times already. So you get, kind of get that pattern. There's a golem. <laughs> there he goes. And uh, yeah, the uh, that's all working out as well. We're getting some iron and uh, yeah, they're, they're taking damage. So that's all going well. So this was a really cool project and it's turned out brilliantly. Really happy how it all turned out. Let's take a look at this thing. There we go. And we're using uh, <laughs> we're using weather skulls uh, as, uh, as some blasters on the top. So we've got a whole bunch of those all over the place. And then just the odds, yeah, we've got things like that, iron bars and things like that, yeah. And we've got uh, lots, lots of lighting hidden underneath carpets and stuff like that. And kind of got these windows in here, trying to get in some detail uh, as much as I can, even some walls here. So, I mean, from a distance, you won't see all this stuff, but uh, you know, when you're up close, you kind of got these walls here, there's the, these, these, uh, these slabs rather. So yeah, try to get as much detail in as I can and also make it a functional thing with our iron farm inside. So that is pretty cool. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, so happy how that turned out. <laughs> it's always a bit, I'm always a little bit worried about maybe the, the ships won't turn out as I plan. But I think um, as I as I sort of do more and more of them, I think I'm getting better at uh, getting the lines and stuff right. Oh, yes. Brilliant. Really happy how that turned out. That is a job well done. And that's about it for the episode. So if you enjoyed it, then please hit the like button. And if you are new, then feel free to subscribe. And if you've got any comments, suggestions, or any kind of feedback, then get it in that comment section. All right, my geeks, until next time, may the force be with you.